குருஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை தி போர்ட் ஆஃப் டைரக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோகஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ்அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus free bus for lkg to 8th standard free hygienic and nutritious food neat jee iit coaching experts from rajasthan and andhra pradesh along with our effective teachers admission registration for classes lkg to plus 2 kurunji education institution kaveti patti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg to 12th contact 9025895176 metric 6212th contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl.in students now in this video in this video we are discussing regarding sexual reproduction okay so what is sexual reproduction and how this process takes place so what is happening in a sexual reproduction the entire information so we will discuss under sexual reproduction emma now let us start to discuss hmm. so here continuation emma so in a previous video we have discussed now so what is the information we have discussed suppose if the bamboo tree is there emma so that particular bamboo tree that produce of flowers emma which flowers only once in uh, once uh, only once in its life cycle that is also after attaining the age of uh, 50 to 100 years age and produce very huge uh, very huge quantities or even huge number of flowers and produce uh, uh, seeds as well as it will die likewise we seen now so that information that example we have seen so there uh, in sexual reproduction in previous video some more information i have given like uh, suppose here definitely two gametes of formation takes place two different types of gametes of formation takes place these two gametes are fused together or comes together and results in the formation of a diploid zygote so likewise some more information we have seen isn't it so there in this particular video you know so by covering of that particular information revision of that particular previous information so today another plant so today uh, information point of view another plant another plant why here i have written now why because which gives meaning of uh, information of bamboo why because uh, bamboo information already we have seen in previous video that's why emma now strobilanthus kuntiana scientific name itself uh, co- strobilanthus kuntiana their uh, normal name is nelakuranji emma uh, normal name we should not call like a vernacular name am a calling name calling name is like a nelukuranji so this kind of nelukuranji flowers so this uh, this particular plant produce of flowers uh, once in every 12 years am so once in 12 years so thereby so where we can see or, uh, or in, what is a date uh, which has been flowered previously means so the plants generally flowered during the september to october month so here we have seen uh, we have recorded the flowering formation in strobilanthus kuntiana in 2006 in 2006 means so previously means 2006 to 12 years means so later again uh, again uh, uh, plus 12 years later likewise so every uh, every 12 years or after every 12 years definitely we can see the the formation of uh, flowers emma so generally this kind of st- uh, strobilanthus kunti you know or nelukuranji so where we can see amma what is the location or where we can see in more quantities means we can observe the this kind of plants so more in uh, hill areas of kerala karnataka and our tamil nadu amma so uh, kerala karnataka and one more is tamil nadu so there by here in these three states so the regions uh, uh, borders uh, we know very well now so there uh, in borders of uh, these three areas means uh, kerala karnataka and tamil nadu so this kind of uh, or the location of this particular strobilanthus kuntiana we can see so this particular plant produce flowers just uh, uh, how am i only 
produce of flowers uh, uh, once in every 12 years is the important point but don't forget already so we are observing only now here why this point even no even though it is a well known point why i have written this particular point no sometimes years also they will ask a neat examination point of view okay suppose if they ask a neat examination point of view first statement uh, september to october 2006 october to november 2006 november to december 2006 at, at the time suppose if they ask means definitely proper answer must be there in our mind that's why here uh, even months also i didn't leave september to october months are uh, definitely we can see the formation of flowers so uh, once in every 12 years previous uh, time we have seen in uh, 2006 so distribution also uh, where we can see means kerala karnataka and in tamil nadu so definitely we can see the distribution or the presence of this strobilanthus kuntiana plants emma now in animals in animals so zonal phase is followed by uh, like which one uh, morphological and physiological changes prior to active reproductive behavior so here what is the main important point no in animals point of view so here suppose if you take any particular uh, organism life life cycle uh, our, our convenience to study we have been divided into three phases isn't it so juvenile phase maturation phase and one more is senescence stage we seen now in animals point of view uh, after juvenile phase or juvenile phase is uh, followed by morphological and physiological changes means here after completion of particular growth of that particular organism so what is uh, happening morphologically and physiologically changes is uh, happening yeah, so because of the changes of that particular organism definitely so it is a prior to active reproductive behavior so definitely so when when the particular organism morphologically morphological and physiologically changes no so definitely it uh, uh, responsible or it behaves uh, uh, to uh, to performs the active so active role in a reproduction so likewise so here some more information so we can study next one the reproductive phase is also uh, also of a variable during or duration in a different organism means here the reproductive phase so this particular reproductive phase is also is variable so why here the variable means so, so depending on the hormonal change, changes or depending on the environmental fluctuations so whatever may be there so definitely the reproductive phase is of uh, variable during in a uh, different organisms so means one organism the reproductive phase or the reproductive duration will be uh, like uh, differs so simple word next one among animals so here one more important point i have given here what is the point you no know? for example birds if you take there no so these birds which gives or the lay eggs emma so among animals so birds only gives or birds only laying or lay eggs Ipo, what is the main important point later we can discuss you no know? birds living in nature so means not under the control or the not under the supervision of human beings i am not under the supervision of a human beings so natural natural means birds living in nature lay eggs only seasonally if suppose if you take any kind of a forest coli or a hen if you see there no there the birds laying nature or means so here the definitely be laying eggs only seasonally emma so means here why here we are learning this particular point means once you see their second line however birds captivity means as in poultry farms can be made to lay eggs throughout the year means here what is important there two types of uh, uh, birds are there suppose if you take birds which are growing in natural habitats um, lay eggs only seasonally isn't it and uh, suppose if the birds uh, if you increase the captivity emma if you suppose for example poultry farms if you take there no so what are the uh, like uh, uh, chicks are there or what are the chickens are there no all this one so we, by increasing the captivity what is a what is a product or what is a benefit we are getting so we can produce uh, uh, eggs throughout the year means uh, how we can produce the these eggs throughout the year means we are increasing the captivity Emma. so thereby when we are increasing the capability of that particular organism automatically so here so we are increasing the production of eggs or we are increasing the capability to lay eggs Emma point you understood not but here one particular point you try to save in your mind what is the suppose if the birds are living in nature 
Amen. So natural atmospheric conditions. So suppose if the birds are staying together means so such particular birds only gives eggs or lay eggs only seasonally. Amen. Seasonally. Next one, the female. The females of placental mammals exhibit cyclical changes in the activities. Suppose here. Uh, females, uh, females of placental mammals uh, exhibit cyclical changes. Uh, so likewise, uh, we will see you no know, mention period and likewise so normal some kind of stages or the cyclical changes we will see you now. So author talking about that one and uh, and of ovaries and accessory glands as well as uh, hormones during the reproductive phase. So thereby here the activities and everything or the producing of ovaries and uh, uh, production of different types of uh, uh, which one more hormones and everything will be and everything we can see in a uh, duration or the during a reproductive phase means uh, here the female on uh, the females of placental mammals exhibit cyclical changes in the activities of ovaries accessory ducts as well as uh, hormones during the reproductive phases. So, means here the activity of ovaries we can see and activities of the uh, accessory glands we can see and uh, along with these two we can uh, study about the which one my activity of hormone during the reproductive phase. So, where we hear author he was given information regarding female uh, actually in, if you take male also here so definitely for, for example here, here human beings point of view so here the, for the uh, secretion or the, for the production of which when a sperm's point of view, there also some kind of uh, like uh, hormones involvement will be there. Yeah, so these particular points we will study in zoology also. No? So that, that is the thing. Means uh, here one more interesting and important point that is is uh, in non-primate mammals. Am yeah, aware in non-primate mammals like uh, cows, sheep, rats, deer, dogs, tiger. Yeah, must still so many will be there uh, for our convenience to study so we we took a very well known one so non primates mammals point of view so cows sheep rats deer dogs tigers and uh, remaining um, so such a cyclical changes during the reproduction uh, are known as who stress cycle means uh, here in uh, non primates what are the cyclical changes we will observe what are the cyclical changes we will observe during the reproduction? All cyclical changes together we will be considering as oostress cycle. So oostress cycle we can, we can observe in non-primates. So next one whereas, whereas, uh, uh, whereas in primates, if you, uh, if you observe in primates, you know, for example, monkeys, apes, mammals, it is known as mention cycle. So means cyclical changes. Cyclical changes during the reproduction of which one of primates. Primates, for example, monkeys, apes, mammals. So there definitely we can observe menstrual cycle. So even human beings also we will be coming under primates. So thereby we will be showing or we will be showing off menstrual cycle in human beings. So means in a non primates we can observe the uh, cyclical changes of reproduction is known as uh, oostress cycle whereas primates are showing off uh, menstrual cycle. So primates example, so mammals are there, apes are there, monkeys are there likewise different types of organisms shows the menstrual cycle. Next one many mammals. Next point you see there, many mammals, especially those living in nature, among mammals, uh, those living in nature under wild conditions exhibit such cycles only during favorable seasons in their reproductive phase. So therefore, these are all called as seasonal breeders, means many mammals. So many mammals, many mammals, especially those living in nature. So means the organisms or the mammals uh, living only in natural habitats, not in uh, artificial means, not under the supervision or not under the control of uh, human beings. So definitely growing in a where wild conditions exhibits uh, which one such a cycle so only during favorable seasons means uh, either uh, the cycle or the mentioned cycle whatever it is. So whatever maybe that cycle definitely exhibits only during favorable seasons. Suppose if the reproductive phase is active seasonally, 
Emma, this particular point you try to save. Suppose if the reproductive phase is active only during favorable conditions or the favorable seasons. Emma, so such kind of uh, uh, like uh, such kind of breeders or the such kind of uh, mammals or such kind of organisms simply we will be calling as seasonal breeders. Emma, so seasonal breeders means the life cycle or the reproductive phase of that particular organisms is active only or during favorable seasons. Suppose when that particular reproductive phase is active only during favorable seasons, no, that kind of organisms we will be calling as, um, don't forget, seasonal breeders. Emma, right. Next one is, next one is, uh, many other mammals are reproductively active throughout their reproductive phase, hence called continuous breeders. <coughs> Emma, did you observe there? What is the point here we are discussing? Many other mammals. So here also both times, so other uh, uh, giving information regarding mammals. Da. In a seasonal breeders also he was taken mammals and remaining other mammals he is taking in continuous breeders. Means continuous breeders. Once you observe that particular sentence or the particular term, no? So author, what is the point he is trying to give us? That is, is many other mammals. I'm a first line. Ra. So many other mammals are reproductively active throughout their reproductive phase. So throughout their reproductive phase means reproductively active means here there is no uh, this kind of mammals depend not depends on the seasonal variations. If rainy season let us reproductive or uh, like uh, uh, summer season or whatever it means or some kind of seasons likewise they won't wait for seasonal variations. So whatever may be that season so definitely so some kind of mammals has the capability to reproduce. So that's why here the reproductive to phase is active throughout the life cycle of that particular organism. M also means what are the organisms uh, reproduce throughout the life cycle? No, so such kind of organisms simply we will be calling as continuous breeders. I'm a point you understood that continuous breeders are nothing but they are the reproductive phase. M the reproductive phase is active throughout the lifespan. Suppose a uh, human beings only use it. Huh? So in human beings, you no, know, we won't depend or we won't wait for the seasonal variations. So means uh, mammals, we have the capability to raise the which one of offsprings. Emma. So in in irrespective of the seasonal variations. Emma. So there by here. So there are two different types of. Uh, uh, we can observe, we can notice. One is seasonal breeders, and one more is continuous breeders. In both plants and animals, so we are observing what is that? Suppose if you take some kind of organisms, you know, reproductive phase is active uh, seasonally. And if you see some other organisms, you know, reproductive phase is active throughout the life cycle. So these kind of uh, situations or these kind of changes, so why sir means, once you see that in both plants and animals, hormones are responsible for the transitions between the three phases of their life cycle. Means here, one more point what is the point uh, in previous video we have seen no suppose if you take one life cycle of that particular organism so we can be divided into three times so there juvenile phase Emma, so here the juvenile phase, the second one maturation phase or, or reproductive phase and third one is a senescence stage or old stage we see now. So there, so here the both, both plants and animals, if you take both plants and animals there, so hormones are responsible. So definitely hormones are responsible for the transition, I mean such changes. Emma, so changing from the one form to another form. Okay, so thereby here uh, in uh, in between the three phases of the life cycle, I hope you understood this one. Later, the interaction between hormones, the interaction between hormones and certain environmental factors regulate the reproductive processes and associated uh, behavioral expressions of organisms. Means here the interaction between hormones and certain environmental factors. 
amma so when the interaction among the uh, which one hormones as well as the environmental factors all together regulate the reproductive processes means here you know, for the activity of the reproductive processes not only there is involvement of hormones definitely there is involvement of environmental factors so means here you know, the environmental factors as well as the hormones definitely together um, together regulate the reproductive processes emma reproductive processes and the associated uh, behavioral expressions of the amma so means here the not only reproductive processes and the associated behavioral expressions associated behavioral expressions uh, uh, of organisms also will be under the control of uh, environmental factors and um, um, and one more is hormones which are produced in the particular organism emma okay, so now here uh, this is some more information regarding sexual reproduction so, uh, like uh, uh, like introduction information only but it is, this one is a base amma um, so base of the sexual reproduction okay so they are definitely so what is the type of uh, uh, cyclical changes we can observe in non primates and what are the cyclical changes we can observe in primates and what are the uh, suppose if animals are there for example birds are there so there what is happening and uh, how these birds lay eggs uh, either seasonally or uh, um, either seasonally or which one is uh, throughout the year likewise some more information we have seen later before that one we have seen the bamboo information as well as strobil and thus kuntiana information emma means here whatever may be the morphological changes or behavioral changes so, so whatever it is definitely definitely is under the control of hormones not only under the control of hormones definitely is under the control of environmental factors so not only amma um, not only under the control of hormones definitely under the control of environmental factors so, so this is information till now we have discussed now let us start to learn the information regarding events in the sexual reproduction emma events so, so what are the events uh, we can see or what are the events we can uh, uh, observe in the process of sexual reproduction now let us see after attaining so means the sexual reproduction so in this particular case now after attaining the uh, attainment of maturity all sexual reproducing organisms exhibits events or exhibit events and processes that have remarkable fundamental similarity means here uh, this kind of events of a sexual reproduction when we can observe means so when particular organism is matured or when that particular organism attain maturity emma when that particular organism attains maturity so definitely when the particular organism attains or the reaches the maturity state you no know, definitely starts to reproduce sexually emma so definitely starts to reproduce sexually so there thereby so there that particular organism reproduces uh, amma so definitely exhibits a reproduction processes events and processes that have remarkable fundamental similarity so definitely all organisms uh, so maximum organisms uh, sexual reproduction the events and processes definitely fundamentally similar emma remarkable and fundamentally similar now let us start to discuss so what are the uh, three events or what are the stages of the um, like uh, uh, or the sexual reproduction now let us see now the events of a sexual reproduction grouped into three distinct stages one more time you see there uh, events of sexual reproduction group events of sexual reproduction grouped into like uh, uh, three distinct stages so they definitely we can see three distinct stages of uh, uh, sexual reproduction so are the se sexual reproduction events so there what are those first one is a pre fertilization events second one is a fertilization events and third one is post fertilization events but here while writing while writing first two means what are those pre fertilization and post uh, fertilization here i didn't write events not required but uh, here third one definitely we have to write down. means so pre fertilization pre fertilization events second one uh, fertilization and third one post fertilization events 
ஓகே மா இப்போ பாருங்க ஒன்ஸ் ஒன்ஸ் யூ அப்சர்வ் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் சைட் ஹெடிங் ப்ரீ ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் ஈவெண்ட்ஸ் மீன்ஸ் த இவெண்ட்ஸ் விச் அக்கர்ஸ் ஓன்லி ஆஃப்டர் ஓன்லி பிஃபோர் தி ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் இஸ் இன் இட் ஸோ தட் இஸ் ஓன்லி த மீனிங் ஸோ ஸோ தேர் பை வாட் இஸ் மெயின் ஃபினாமின வாட் இஸ் அ ஃபினாமின் வி கேன் அப்சர்வ் மோர் மீன்ஸ் ஆமாம் ஸோ வாட் ஆர் த இவெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் நோ ஆல் தீஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் இவெண்ட்ஸ் விச் அக்கோர்ஸ் ஓன்லி பிஃபோர் தி பிஃபோர் தி ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் ஸோ தட்ஸ் ஃபோர் தட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபினாமினன் ஆர் தட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் இவெண்ட்ஸ் வி வில் பி டேக்கிங் ஹேஸ் அ ப்ரீ ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் இவெண்ட்ஸ் ஏமா நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் ஹியோ ஆமாம் ஆல் த இவெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ செக்ஷுவல் ரிப்ரொடக்ஷன் ப்ரேயர் டு தி ஃபியூஷன் ஆஃப் கேமெண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ தேர் பை ஹியோர் ஆல் இவெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் செக்ஷுவல் ரிப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஸோ வாட் வீ கேன் அப்சர்வ் ஸோ வ ஹியோ இன் ப்ரீ ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் இவெண்ட்ஸ் வாட் வீ கேன் கிவ் அ மோர் இம்பார்டன்ஸ் மீன்ஸ் வீ கேன் கிவ் இம்பார்டன்ஸ் டு தி விச் ஒன் த ஃபியூஷன் ஆஃப் கேமெண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ டெஃபினெட்லி ஹியோ த மெயின் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ப்ரேயர் so to the what fusion of gametes so, so here that is the main important thing the fusion of gametes so when the particular fusion of gametes are fused together definitely we can see the formation of a diploid zygote so thereby here in order to, uh, in a fusion of gametes of formation or a fusion of a process of gametes so definitely depends on the following characters means their fusion of gametes means so first of all that particular gametes must be formed no must be formed later these two gametes must reach uh, each other so later these two are fused together later zygote uh, formation means here first of all so what we have to do there the in a pre fertilization event the two main pre fertilization events or um, our one is two two main uh, uh, pre fertilization events so one is gametogenesis and one more is gamete transfer emma so first one is gametogenesis and second one is gamete transfer ipo gametogenesis once you see there gametogenesis if you see this gametogenesis what is the point or what is the meaning we can understand genesis means the formation emma so which one is going to be formed gametes so thereby here what is the definition we can give means gametogenesis is nothing but or uh, refers to the process of uh, formation of the two different types of or two types of gametes that is is male and female ipo parigama gametogenesis means refers to the so gametogenesis refers to the the process of uh, formation of two different types so here if two types means definitely here uh, gametes are not similar ema so two different types we can write or two types also we can write if two types of gametes are going to be produced means so these two uh, types of gametes are morphologically not similar means definitely difference is there no because of the difference only we are calling as two types suppose no difference means we will write as only one type no emma so there by two different types of gametes are there one is a male and female gametes so here what is the main important point here we can understand means here so here these gametes are haploid cells emma these gametes are haploid cells so uh, these are haploid cells means definitely how many sets of chromosomes are present there means only single set of chromosomes are present am only one set one set of chromosomes are there means so such kind of uh, uh, cells we will be calling as haploid cells later in some algae am in some algae the two gametes or am uh, this important no here four lines are there no these are four lines so koncham concentrate paninga now in some uh, some algal members two gametes are so similar in appearance so that is not possible to categorize them into uh, male and female gametes am um, i did you understand means in some algal members some only right some algal members matum da means mostly chlorophyce members we cannot take but uh, here other they have given perfectly only some algal members there what is the point we can understand no two gametes are uh, similar in appearance so here the two gametes are similar in appearance means morphologically emma ipo paathake means when we will observe those gametes no so we cannot distinguish uh, id male id female likewise we cannot distinguish emma so when we are unable to we are unable to uh, like uh, categorize into male and female no so such kind of uh, like uh, such kind of gametes so, so simply we will be calling as homogametes 
ama homo means same type ra ema suppose if the gametes are morphologically similar suppose if the gametes are morphologically similar so such kind of gametes simply we will be calling as homo gametes means in this particular case you know these gametes uh, we could not we could not uh, distinguish which one is a male and which one is female am a point you understood here. so thereby this kind of gametes only we will be calling as a homo gametes or we can call by one more name isogametes am a homo gametes or isogametes um, and uh, however however in a majority of the sexual reproduce, reproducing organisms the gametes so produced are um, are of two types means uh, here in most of the in most of the sexual reproducing organisms in most of the sexual reproducing organisms definitely um, don't forget one point here majority apdena so here some of the organisms are there means ange very few members of organisms no definitely showing of home gametes condition remaining romba jaasti members are there no so there majority of the sexual reproducing organisms there gametes are produced are of two times em so two types means so what we can understand there heterogametes condition Am I homo gametes means here uh, the here the gametes are morphologically am um, morphologically similar, isn't it? So means here two types means here the morphologically dissimilar. Am I so morphologically dissimilar means so such kind of gametes simply we can take them as how heterogametes. Here to write I don't have space, so that's why um, this particular word we can be taken as heterogametes. ipo homo means why we are calling here homo here the male and female uh, gametes are the morphologically similar isn't it so that's why this particular gametes we will be calling as isogametes but here in majority of the organisms or the majority of the sexual reproducing organisms gametes are produced like how many types of morphologically two different types of uh, gametes we can observe so such kind of gametes we will be calling as heterogametes Am I so heterogametes? So don't forget that. Huh? So remaining in such in such organisms, no male gamete is called as. Am I so male gamete members? Okay. So here till now we are calling male gamete, male gamete, male gamete like boys. But here uh, we didn't learn any particular name. So but now I will give uh, what is a male gamete name means. Uh, male gamete name we can call it as anthrozoites or uh, sperm. a male gamete next one female gametes uh, we can ca call them as egg or ovum if uh, we are studying plus to means definitely this particular uh, introduction information we can uh, we can guess emma so there are two different types of uh, gametes are there means there uh, male gamete name we can be taken as anthrozoid ipo in bryophytes and in pteridophytes we use the term anthrozoids Yeah, ma. With the uh, two number of flowers, la, it will move from the one place to another place and reaches the uh, female reproductive system. Likewise, in bryophytes, we see no. So there, male gamete name uh, there we have used as anthrozoites. Am yeah, I? Did you remember this one? So anthrozoites or um, like animals concerned, we can be taken that particular male gamete as a sperm. Am yeah, I? So next one, female gametes of front of you, we can uh, take uh, uh, egg or ovum. Yeah, so this is some more information, some more information only, yeah, not complete one. Some more information of which one uh, gametogenesis. So still some more information is there to be discussed. So in uh, tomorrow's class also, means in the next class also, a uh, few important neat bits are there. So don't skip uh, while watching. Emma, yeah, so in the next video also, definitely I will cover two or three neat bits. So later, let me move forward likewise. so this is a small information regarding sexual reproduction still i'll do some more information on sexual reproduction thank you ma and watch these videos so so thereby uh, you will get the knowledge of our neat examinations so thereby we can get a good marks in our examinations thank you and be safe at home